Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about waveguide attenuators. In the concept of waveguide components, I have started the waveguide components with what are the different types of coupling mechanisms available uh, like a probe coupling, aperture coupling and loop coupling. And we have later we have seen what are the discontinuities available in the waveguides like iris and match termination and uh, different types of methods we have seen. Now in this video I am going to discuss about waveguide attenuators. Waveguide attenuators. What do you mean by attenuation? Attenuation is nothing but opposite for the amplification. So attenuation is nothing but reducing the amplitude of any signal. Here the electric field component and magnetic field component when they are being traveled inside the waveguide the component strength is going to be reduced when they enter into this attenuator device. Attenuator is also a component of the waveguide. Several types of components are there in the waveguides. Okay, each and every component is having a specific purpose in the complete bench setup of this microwave bench setup. Okay, so coming to this waveguide attenuator. So what do you mean by attenuator? We know attenuator is used to reduce the power. Here what is the component that we are reducing? We are reducing the EM power. We are reducing the EM power, electromagnetic strength when that is passing through the waveguide attenuator automatically the power is going to be reduced. Sometimes it is nullified also. <coughs> <coughs> That depends upon the type of the waveguide. Now, so waveguide attenuator is nothing but an attenuator an attenuator is an electronic device that reduces that reduces the power of a signal without appreciably distorting its waveform <coughs> okay so attenuator is nothing but it is an electronic device that reduces the power of a signal without appreciably distorting the waveform so we no need to uh, this attenuator device will not disturb the waveform characteristics but it simply attenuates the signal when it is being passing through that okay so what are the different types of attenuators generally available Okay, suppose uh, can we reduce the amount of power fixed or variable? Okay, suppose if the uh, consider a waveguide, consider a waveguide when a signal is electromagnetic signal is passing through this waveguide, this is the waveguide. This electromagnetic signal is having a strength like 10 decibels. When it is passing through this waveguide, this waveguide is nothing but it is an attenuator. Suppose if it is an attenuator like uh, having a fixed value, fixed attenuator, okay, like the attenuation is in terms of 3 decibels. So when a signal is passing through this waveguide, it attenuates the signal by, amount, by an amount of 3 decibels. So then what happens? The output will be 7 decibels. So every time this type of waveguide is meant for the reduction of the power only 3 decibels. Every time it uh, gives a reduction of 3 decibels when a signal is passing, passing through this waveguide. Suppose I am passing 15 decibels then the outcome is 12 decibels. That means there is a reduction of 3 decibels in the uh, signal when it is passing through this type of fixed attenuator. Suppose if you are taking a variable attenuator. Another type of attenuator is a variable attenuator. This variable attenuator where we can adjust the amount of attenuation every time depending upon the requirement. Okay. Suppose I want to reduce only 1 decibel. Input is 10 decibel. I, I am getting the output as 9 decibels. 
then this one decibels we can select based upon the variable attenuator and if i want to go for two decibels that are that can also be adjusted using the variable attenuator 10 decibels that can also be adjusted using the variable attenuator so uh, there are two types of generally there are two types of attenuators available two types of <coughs> attenuators are there what are they? First one is fixed attenuator. And second one is variable attenuator. Fixed attenuator. And second one is variable attenuator. So fixed attenuator will always attenuate the amount of power that is fixed. Okay, we cannot reduce, the, we cannot change the amount of attenuation once it is fabricated. And second one is variable attenuator. Variable attenuator is nothing but it is a waveguide where the amount of attenuation is always variable. So that is used to reduce the amount of power whatever the based upon the requirement. Okay, remember one thing, variable attenuator gives more amount of attenuation than the fixed attenuator. Fixed attenuators generally in the microwave labs, um, generally fixed attenuators will give an amount of reduction like 3 decibels, 6 decibels and 9 decibels, not more than that usually. And if you are going for a variable attenuator, variable attenuator will reduce the amount of power up to 20 to 25 decibels compared to the input power. Suppose if input power is 30 decibels, output can give up to a reduction of 25 decibels. That means output we can get only 5 decibels. So variable attenuator is having more reduction compared to fixed attenuators. Now let us see a detailed description of this fixed attenuators. So <clears throat> first one is fixed attenuator. In the fixed attenuator, I told you already fixed attenuator is nothing but it is used to reduce the amount of power by a fixed amount, always fixed amount. Okay, we cannot change it once it is designed. So fixed attenuators fixed attenuators in circuits are used to <coughs> lower voltage dissipate power dissipate power and to improve impedance matching so the hidden advantages of these uh, fixed attenuators are all nothing but it is used to lower the voltage and dissipate the power and to improve the impedance matching. So because of this fixed attenuator also we can have another advantage like matching of impedance of this uh, load with the transmission line that can also be possible with the help of fixed attenuator because by reducing the amount of power we can adjust we can uh, uh, or we can say like uh, the amount of power that is uh, delivered to the load can be changed. Depending upon that, impedance matching can also be possible. Fixed type of attenuators are commonly used are commonly used where a fixed amount of power fixed amount of power is to be provided as it said earlier so fixed amount of power only can be reduced by using this fixed attenuator so that is the that is the reason why it is fixed attenuator if such type of attenuators absorbs all the energy entering into it, we call that waveguide as a terminator. Very good. See, see, see here. Suppose, suppose if the entire power, 
entire power which enters into this attenuator the entire power which enters into this attenuator nullifies then that type of attenuator is called terminator is called terminator that means whatever the power enters into that fixed attenuator if entire power goes zero then we can simply call it as terminator because it is used to terminate the entire power so this normally this type of fixed attenuator normally consists of a short section of waveguide with a tapered plug of absorbing material at the and generally fixed attenuator how the power is going to be absorbed by this one is a tapered material which is connected at the end of the fixed attenuator that will absorb the entire power. So it consists of a dielectric slab. It consists of a dielectric slab which is a glass slab coated with thin carbon thin carbon film to absorb the EM power. So what it uses? It uses a dielectric slab. It uses a dielectric slab which is a glass slab. Which is a glass slab coated with carbon film to absorb the electromagnetic power. Let us see how these fixed attenuators are going to be constructed. See this is the waveguide, rectangular waveguide. This is a a rectangular waveguide inside which we have the uh, shaded part is nothing but the shorting plate this is the device a dielectric material that is coated with a carbon film so that when the power enters through this one see here the power when enters through this one it is simply going to be reduced or nullified the power okay it is the it is like a match termination because it is connected at the end See here, there is no other port. If the other port is also there, then we can call it as a attenuator that is used to reduce the power. But here it is a shorting plate. At the end, it is completely closed. It means it is used to terminate the power. The entire power goes zero. When it uh, when the power travels or enters into this waveguide, completely the power nullifies or goes into zero. Okay. So, another type of, uh, and the second type of the attenuator is variable attenuator so variable attenuator name clearly tells that it, the attenuation the amount of attenuation can be varied the amount of attenuation can be varied so how the amount of attenuation can be varied uh, see here variable attenuators variable attenuators provide continuous or stepwise variable attenuation. So variable attenuators provide continuous or stepwise variable attenuation. That means a continuous 1, 2, 3, 4 like that we can reduce or Stepwise, whatever the step, suppose 5, 10, 15, like that also we can reduce the amount of power depending upon the requirement. Okay, so how and which type of devices are going to be helpful for us to reduce the amount of power in a variable step size? The, there's, there are generally in the rectangular waveguides, so there are two types of variable attenuators are available. They are for or rectangular waveguides
these variable attenuators can be a flap type or vein type can be flap type or wear type see here for rectangular for rectangular wave guides it can be either flap type or vein type and for circular wave guide for circular wave guide it is a rotary type it is a rotary type variable attenuator okay so if it is a rectangular wave guide the variable attenuator may be either flap type or main type if it is a circular wave guide the variable attenuator may be a rotary type because circular wave guide means generally it is in rotation okay circular wave guide it is in the circular phase circular way okay cylindrical shape in the circular shape so that's why definitely rotation should be there that's why it is rotary type now in the next video, I will explain what is this flap type, vein type and rotary type in detail. Thank you.